This is a follow-up to last week's Far Cry 5 ending theory video. I had no idea at the time that it would be so well received. Ari has 2100 views. That is freaking awesome. Thank you so much to everybody that took the time to watch that video and of course leave comments. And so many of you left comments that I decided that we should continue the discussion, at least for this video. We're not going to do any more after this, so I promise There'll be no third uh, Far Cry ending theory vid. Two and done. But several of you left thoughts, uh, points of view going one way or the other. And since this is part of my discuss series, that's what we're doing here. So this entire video is about me reading over your comments. If you left a comment agreeing with me or disagreeing with me, as long as you're not being a total asshole. By the way, I deleted those comments. There's only like two or three of them. They always want attention, trolls. <laughs> but the rest of you, let's see what everyone has to say. And that's the entire point of this video. You don't have to agree with me. You didn't have to agree with me in the last video. That's the fun part about Discuss Fits. We have an opportunity to discuss something. And this is a very good topic, the Far Cry 5 ending. Okay, so let's start things off with who is first all right i guess uh catherine's first wow catherine wrote a novel we're gonna be here all day <laughs> all right so i agree that the endings made no sense with the exception of the secret ending where you don't arrest the father and the sheriffs agree it's better to walk away and not to kill be killed by the mob of cultists the two main endings leaving to get the national guard i think would make sense if it was the canton ending so that the next part, it followed the same story. Uh, start with the National Guard and the rookie uh, coming to arrest the father, but that would just be the same as the start of the game, except with more people, more rifles instead of pistols, and a nuke ending where you end up uh, with the father. You, I've thought about this, and the next one started with you and Jacob alone for 10 years. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> that doesn't sound like fun at all. You mean, not Jacob, you mean Joseph. I think you meant Joseph. Okay, so uh, Joseph, alone for 10 years, he brainwashed you into believing uh, that he's the savior of the world since you and he are the only ones in the bunkers. Let's be blunt, he's likely had sex with the female officer. <laughs> you only did that, Catherine, because of how I felt for, for Detective Hudson. That's why she put that there. <laughs> But that's something a cult leader would do, you know. He'd have all the women to himself, you know. Typical cult of personality type. But anyway, so I think we can move on from your point of view. I like your idea, though. But I don't think that a Far Cry 6 is going to be uh, anywhere like that. I don't think they're going to pick up where Far Cry 5 left off. Because from my knowledge of the Far Cry fan tries, they haven't done that so far. Like, they're all, like, separated, I believe so. And it just feels like Far Cry uh, 6 would feel too much like Fallout. That's kind of like the running joke right now. So thanks for the uh, thoughts, Catherine. Let's move on to Don't Call Me Danny. Interesting theory, GB. I actually like the ending a lot from the very beginning of the game. All the lieutenants pretty much tell you it's going to end, but you don't listen, and it becomes the very thing you're trying to stop. GB, if Hope County is alive and well... Whereas it in the DLC, why does the picture of Hope County change at the end of the game and the loading screen? Let's see if I remember, I will put the uh, loading screen up right now so you guys can see it for yourself in all its glory because that's what it looks like after you beat the game. Uh, anywho, I really don't think that the way the campaign played out, I mean, you get kidnapped nine times after the second, I didn't care anymore. Yeah. I, I thought getting kidnapped over and over again was a little too crazy. Mitchell, I agree with you, GB, 100%. Okay, so you actually put several of them, and I really wish you guys would not do it like that. Like, I'd prefer, like, one paragraph instead of multiple comments. So we'll read yours real quick. So you agree with me 100%. You believe that the nuke is just a vision of Joseph's desperation to be right, and it symbolizes once you beat him that his world would fall apart because he realized he did all the chaos for nothing. The whole mess was a bliss dream. And that's, yeah, that's pretty much my theory. It doesn't mean it's right. doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just a theory. All right, so Milk Hunter 7. Let's see, I think the nukes were actually Joseph's. He had them hidden and built and set off in a last desperate attempt to prove that he was right. There are three detonations, one for each child, and that's just a bit more of middle of nowhere, Montana, especially although so close to Hope County. 
And that's a very valid point, Milk Hunter. Like, if there was a nuclear war breaking out, and some of you uh, will present evidence to that case, we'll go over that in just a moment, that uh, allegedly a nuclear war was actually breaking out in the timeline of Far Cry 5, why would it hit the middle of Montana in the middle of nowhere? That doesn't make much sense, now does it? You would go for strategic targets like military bases or major cities instead of, you know, in the middle of Montana. I mean, yeah, Montana is absolutely beautiful, but at the same time, why would, like, I don't know, the North Koreans or the Chinese or the Russians or whoever the hell is responsible for, you know, dropping the nukes would, would drop them there unless it was the cultists themselves that were doing it. Kind of strange. All right, so moving on to, uh, let's see, uh, Levi Willer. Let's see, I feel and hope that it would end up in the second title for the second game. The Father lives in every ending and just uh, makes it feel like uh, there'll be more, maybe a DLC or whatever, just my thoughts. Okay, so several of you already brought up the DLC, and there is three DLCs coming out. Uh, they all sound very good. I don't think any of them have anything to do with the uh, Far Cry 5 story itself. One is about zombies. The other one's about Vietnam, and the other one is about going to Mars. So I don't think we're going to see any resolution in any of the DLCs. Okay, so one thing I understand is why do people, like, reply to people this way when you should just simply reply? Click the reply button and reply because this is confusing. So Doug replies to Catherine. You do realize that during a leave with friends, the ending ends. You kill all your friends. The only... Uh, okay, so... I think the part I missed, sorry, Catherine, you just had, there were so many words there. And you started talking about Hudson, and I got a little too excited, so I had to move on. But I think she does say something about uh, the Only You theme when it's playing during the the second walk away uh, ending. Not the one at the very beginning you can do. Where, you know, the we talked about that during last week's video. Most of you know about that. And, you know, it's basically alluded to the fact that the programming kicks in and the deputy most likely kills the sheriff or you know struggles with the sheriff and runs the car off the road the truck off the road and you know probably severely hurt everybody in the truck or killed everybody or i don't know what happens but nothing good came from you know the only you song every time it played in the game and i like to believe that you know he managed to break it before his confrontation with jacob but that may not be entirely the case all right, so let's see. Moving on to uh, Christian. Let's see, she says that, um, or he says, I mean, that can be a guy or girl's name. So they say that maybe the true ending was just a vision, but once you awaken, the vision was over and he won. Now he's in your head, and that's why he lets you go. He doesn't need to show himself anymore. He controls the entire county through you. Oh, so maybe that's how Joseph wins. And then Doug responds, maybe the world currencies should... What? That's just, I think Doug's just talking about nonsense right there. Let's, let's just move on, shall we? All right, to uh, GP. Let's see. So we can assume Far Cry 6 involves the protagonist emerging from a bunker after a nuclear war has ravaged the planet. Bethesda might have something to say about that exactly. Far Cry 6, a.k.a. Fallout 5. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, a, that's, that's where the uh, Fallout jokes come in, right? <laughs> Or Palpatine and, and everybody else. They yeah, have far, far lot. <laughs> Jose. War. War never changes. <laughs> and of course, uh, Sue Kim, I'm thinking that Far Cry 5's ending explosion is related to Far Cry 3's Blood Dragon beginning. <laughs> Death calls our Wolverine's mind blown. <laughs> okay, that, that's enough of that silly nonsense. Okay, but I, I don't know why the, why the direction... A Far Cry 5 would be towards something very similar to another popular video game franchise, you know, like like Fallout, which is obviously set in a post-nuclear uh, world, right? <laughs> I mean, you think one or two of the developers and writers over at Ubisoft, you know, behind uh, Far Cry 5 would be like, you know something, this, this seems a little familiar, just a little, because either, like, the whole thing was a dream, and then Far Cry 6 is going to have to take place somewhere else, that wasn't nuked, or else they're going to have to go with a post-nuclear apocalypse, which, once again, feels a little too much like Fallout. All right, moving on to epics. In my opinion, I think the Easter egg ending would be the best ending. They resist ending has two theories. Either it's a bliss hallucination, or since there was talk about us nuking Moscow, 
which is heard over the radio. See, this is something I did not hear because I was live streaming it from start to finish and I tried to keep the radios off because I didn't want a copyright claim. It happened at least two of the videos, unfortunately. So several of you will make that case as we continue. Okay, it's uh, Russia retaliating with their own nuke. The walkaway ending makes no sense after all the Rook has been through. Uh, as a sleeper agent, program still inside the Rook because you can fly over, drive over the Veteran Center where Jacob tested you, and you will still feel the effects of the sleeper agent effect. Far Cry 5 is an amazing game with flaws, including the endings uh, being flawed themselves. Yeah, I did that on my own. I just happened to, when well, I was just exploring the map uh, after the game over the weekend, and I happened to come across, you know, the, that big base up in the right-hand corner. That was, you know, where you were being uh, conditioned. And every time I tried to get close to the base, the only use song kicked in. You know, everything went red. And then I, like, woke up, you know, several hundred feet away from the base. And it was interesting because I guess you're not allowed to go there for whatever rhyme or reason. Moving on back to Doug. Let's see. Who loves replying to everybody, but we'll read it. See, I just realized that the C family uh, bought the radio stations. If you think about it, it's mentioned in the intro video. Maybe all oh, those are fake propaganda so that people do think that the world's ending. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. I mean, he did have control of Nancy at the police dispatch, you know, because the sheriff, you know, told her to call in the National Guard if things went wrong. And then at the very beginning, the father basically told her everything was fine. And then she says, yes, father. So it was pretty obvious that she was under the father's influence. So, you know, it's within reason to believe, Doug, that, you know, the radio station DJs or program directors were also under his influence. And maybe that's why... And like the the second walk away uh, ending, you know that song just happens to come on the radio at the right time in order to trigger the rook as they're all heading to Missoula to get the National Guard. Let's move on to Caden now. There's a radio transmission that talks about the bombing of major cities in the game. This is before the final confrontation with Josephs at his compound. It's easily missable, and yeah, admittedly I missed it as well because I was having to keep the radio stations off. And uh, see, Mitchell responds, uh, he thinks that was a fake transmission. If you pay attention, Dutch says that no signals get in or out of Hope County. So that supports the hallucination theory. And then Caden responds, if you look up the radio transmission, you can see the hallucination theory doesn't explain why the intro screen shows the destruction of Hope County. Let's see, uh, Mitchell, that could be the, just the aftermath of the resistance. Plus, you have to admit that uh, he says, what, admit that what he says is making sense. See, Christian chimes in. It's just a representation of the player's state of mind, blown to pieces, because only you can make this world seem right. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I'm loving some of the humor in the comments. But you, you could take it either way. Either A, you know, the, the bombs did drop, and, uh, you know, obviously everything in Hope County would be destroyed, including Falls End. Or B, it, it could be a symbol of the Rook just by the end of the game, after everything he's been through or she's been through, you know, being captured by John and Faith, and Jacob, and all the times he he or she got blissed, you know, <laughs> maybe maybe there's finally their minds just shattered and destroyed, just like falls in, you know. So that's that's an interesting theory as well. Alrighty, let's um, move on down the line to uh, peace peace two. All right, considering what happens after you beat the game, where the stats of the father is changed to defeating, the endings of the game aren't canon. Consider how much bliss you're exposed to the entire game and the effects it has on the mind, twisting reality in ways almost surreal. For example, Sheriff Whitehorse and others remind you of the effects of bliss and how, uh, see, the things that you may see may not be real. Fast forward to the end battle with the father, and this is where the bliss basically warps your sense of reality. Add the addition of two barrels of bliss on top of the unreal levels of exposure to bliss throughout the entire game, and you definitely have a recipe for the ultra-realistic hallucinations, even going as far as hearing things no one else can hear, radio broadcasts no one else seems to hear, the mention or even pay attention to at all. Another clear indicator of the ending not being canon is the logic behind nuke in a small town in Montana. That's something we brought up earlier. Nuclear strikes would focus on major cities or military installations or even the national infrastructure. You don't even see the missiles fly to its targets. Uh, the nuclear bombs are delivered by ICBM or terrorist style via suitcase nukes. If the suitcase nuke theory, then the seeds themselves detonated the nuclear warheads to fulfill their prophecy. Hence the reason why, quote-unquote, it is finished, child, at the end, 
Montana is uh, not a viable target for nuclear strikes, and the only logical sense for what occurs are nuclear detonations by Joseph Seed as a last resort and as a way to fulfill his prophecy. Even with that in mind, there are no denying the fact that uh, this is probably all a huge hallucination by overexposure to bliss for very long periods of time, not to mention being exposed to individuals who have been exposed to the uh, drug as even the presence of bliss on another person appears to have severe effects. Very true. Making some very great points there, Peace 2. Continuing, this has to be the true ending of bliss-fueled hall hallucination in all efforts to halt your progress and prevent you from killing the father and destroying his flock. It's the only logical way the game ends for uh, the existing two uh, game endings have no viable reason to exist the way that they do in the game. Though the leave ending sounds a bit more logical, but nonetheless unsatisfactory, the resist ending literally has no logical place in the game and may severe the elaborate uh, psychology setup for the expansion that reveals the real fate of Hope County, the deputy, and Project uh, Eden's Gate. It's the only way that this would make sense. Otherwise, resistance endings is out of place. Illogical, hardly satisfactory for a game that takes days to complete. Maybe for maybe more depending on your play schedule, style, priorities, etc. And what he was talking about is this screen. I I put it up in last week's video, and you you back up far enough on the map, and it shows everybody defeated. It shows John defeated. It shows Faith defeated. It shows Jacob defeated, and of course. It shows Joseph defeated at the very top, and it says you have defeated the fodder and have liberated Hope County. Now, how can you do that if the father has won and has you chained up in a bunker and Hope County is basically uh, going through nuclear fallout, what's left of it? You know, if everybody uh, dead or dying, being blasted to bits. It doesn't exactly sound like you defeated the father and liberated Hope County. So you can look at it both ways. All right, so let's move on to uh, Mitchell responds to piece two. You're making sense, and I agree. Uh, Christian, uh, what transpires during the final events may just be a massive bliss dream. But in the end, you wake up from the dream, and now he owns you. And through you, he owns the county again. See, uh, Byron, he says this. It would be nice for the final DLC. It has your character walk, waking up and realizing all those weird things you experience, the zombies, Martians, all that jazz, including, I think, Vietnam, was just a big bliss dream, and they actually deliver a satisfying end. I, yeah, really wish we had a better ending either way. All right, so Trenton, let's see what he says. Uh, see, maybe whenever the next uh, Far Cry comes out, and it's still set in the U.S., it'll mention that Justice he was arrested for his crimes has gone to trial, is currently locked in jail or in solitary confinement to prevent him from influencing the various inmates and prison guards to do whatever he wants to them. And Hope County is recovering from the actions of Eden's Gate cult. Yeah, see, yeah, I like that idea. Yeah, I definitely like that very much, Trenton. And it looks like Mitchell basically agrees with you. I think that if the writers get enough negative feedback from the fans, even if their intention was for the ending to be the nuke ending, basically backing themselves into a corner, to be honest. You know, that that's a good out for them for Far Cry 6. Even if they never go back to Hope, Montana, and they go with a completely new protagonist, new characters, new villain, which is probably what's going to happen if you go by previous Far Cry games. At the very least, they could just simply have something in the background or on TV talking about the trial of Joseph Seed is underway. He was responsible for this, this, and this. He was stopped by a lone deputy. I don't know. And resistance fighters, you know, from, you know, their, you know, end of the world nonsense. I mean, it'll be f fascinating to see how that's going to actually play out. Palpy Teen, see, I finished the game last night and chose to resist. And now the loading screen shows up. Count yeah. So we, we talked about that already. So, yeah, obviously it does show that loading screen. And uh, the only real ending that you can see when you see that is that ending. And even though you have the option to walk away, uh, it then, like, after that ending's over, it puts you, you know, not too far away from, like, uh, the compound and allows you the option to go back and resist the second time. So it's obviously alluding to the fact that the developers want you to resist, even if you walk away at the very beginning, even if you walk away the second time near the end. In the end, there is only technically one quote-unquote ending because it's the ending of endings, the resist ending. 
All right, so uh, Joshua, let's see. The in-game radios were playing warnings from the U.S. government, warning U.S. citizens not to travel to Asia because of increased hostilities. The nukes were real. Uh, it was foreshadowed throughout the entire game. Let's see. But it clearly states that the cult met, you know, manipulated the radio signals. And see, everyone could see that and call out or respect you for seeing that. Yeah, so that's that's the issue that we have here. Like, the cult took control of everything in Hope County. Nothing was getting in or getting out. Like we talked about earlier, the dispatcher for the police, the sheriff's department, she was a cultist. You know, she could have easily notified Missoula to get the National Guard down there, but she didn't because she was one of them, which makes you wonder, like, if there's any radio stations in the area. Obviously, there are because you can hear them on the uh, car when you're driving around Hope County, you know, taking the fight back to the cultists. It's possible, like I said earlier, that the DJs and the program directors were under the influence of Joseph Seed and they were given a script and you know they were reading this nonsense out to get more people riled up and to be like, oh my God, Joseph's right. He's right. I can't believe what he's saying is true. Even people that, that were like very skeptical. And yeah, there's a lot of people that are skeptical against him because they end up becoming part of the resistance movement. So there's people that are like, fuck you, I'm not gonna listen to anything you say. But a lot of people on the fence throughout Hope County may have been swayed, maybe not by the bliss or maybe not by, you know, the uh, you know, the army that Joseph and his brother Jacob assembled, but maybe by, you know, propaganda. You know, that's something else that has been used by cults and, you know, tyrannical dictatorships over numerous years and decades and centuries. So I would see that as perhaps a form of propaganda. Whether or not it's true, I don't know. But it's interesting to discuss, though. All right, next, let's move on to Too Damn Filthy. This may take a while. <laughs> Hopefully this video can get done in under an hour if it's if it doesn't, you know, that's just the way it goes. All right, so the walkway ending uh, causes, again, restart the choices again after the uh, credits. The actual ending is the uh, resist ending. And I, I agree with that point, that the actual ending to the game is technically the resist ending. See, devs in the game have talked about uh, it in another hint throughout the game. There are hints of a nuclear possibility, radio chatter, listening to the main characters, NPCs, reading articles you can pick up, look at uh, throughout the world, plus... Uh, the background to the main menu, the pause. Yeah, we already talked about that. I say the thing is, the open world game like this it needs you to explore the world because there's always hints and secrets about the world, and it's annoying when people say, "Well, the game didn't write out tell me." And eh, you didn't have to say the next part. Don't be like that, man. Continuing. Anyway, I find it doubtful that you're still drugged when you arrest the father. This happens when you're drugged, then snap out of it, especially in Faith's region. White House, sna White Horse snapped out of it. Just like everyone else, before it was too late, my guess is that while you were busy doing the Rook things, regardless if you had guns for hire or not, just like other boss missions, Father was able to capture, drug your friends when you were away to meet him. Let's see, the game brings you back to the non-nuclear Montana because it's a game and Ubisoft wanted everyone to be able to finish the game. Yeah, I understand that fact that, yeah, you know, they have to put you back into the game because, you know, they want replayability because there's a lot of stuff to do in the game, not just the main stuff, there's side stuff, there's everything else. So I totally get that. I totally get that. Once again, this is us discussing. Nobody's right, nobody's wrong. We're just having different opinions here. I don't know if we'll ever know the truth. Who knows? Let's see. 100% the missions before confronting the father. So it doesn't really matter to me, but uh, you never actually break mind control from Jacob. If you go to the Veterans Hospital, yeah, we just mentioned that. Yeah, exactly. The Veterans Hospital is an issue. Uh, it could be for many reasons. If you look at it this way, the bliss doesn't outright affect you after you run away from it, besides the cutscenes, but the song still does because it was pretty beaten and conditioned into you. Jacob even says after the second time he captures you, that's why you kill Eli. The bliss is a physical thing that can be treated. In this case, just stay away from it. But the psychological effects are much harder to fix. Just because Jacob died, that doesn't mean you're cured, true. Regardless of how you really look at it, the game is supposed to end with the nukes dropping, not as hallucinations, but as the actual ending. The reason Montana isn't nuked after is uh, for the post-games to complete whatever achievements. Yeah, we, we get that. I mean, I think most people understand that, that it would be kind of ridiculous if you couldn't actually go back and finish all that stuff because you'd be, you'd be pissed off. Like, wait a minute. I want to go to do this. I want to go do that. You know, you're telling me I can't go back and play the game. I have to start over. Most people wouldn't be happy about that. I see Warlord. Let's see. Disagrees that bombs would have dropped either way after the inning because the politics don't revolve around Joseph or Eden's Gate. So it's a bit uh, coincident that the bombs after you resist Joseph, but not when you walk away. 
After you're exposed to so much bliss and beforehand, Joseph literally made you hallucinate an earthquake at the start of the battle, which leads you to fight the guns for hire. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, you go back and forth. And that's, that's the entire point of this video is going back and forth and seeing everybody's opinion. <laughs> Let's see. Replies, yeah, I understand that, but the walkaway ending isn't what the game's ending is meant to be, hence why it restarts. Yeah, if that was the actual ending, then that would be the ending that they would have gone with. Just like at the beginning of the game, that Easter egg where you can not arrest Joseph and then you guys just leave. I mean, they're, they're, they're alternative endings. Just like movies have alternative endings that usually don't end up anywhere except for like on like a DVD where you can go watch them. Like this is how they thought it may end, but they decided to go with this ending instead. That's the way I look at it. See, the Nooks would go off regardless. Yes, but the ending where it shows them uh, going off is uh, the ending for the game. The part where you're affected by the bliss and the earthquakes happens uh, due to the bliss. And every time you're affected the bliss, you can tell because everything goes shiny and wobbly. But after you hurt the father, you are able to snap out of it. See, there's no bliss effect uh, during the new cutscene, so it wouldn't be all in your head. It actually happened. And I respect everyone that has that opinion, just like I respect everyone else that disagrees. And that's what I'm trying to do here, is just show you guys two different points of view. So you know, I wouldn't looked it up yourself. Wiki has said the nuke place has no military or economic significance whatsoever, so in my opinion, yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's what a lot of people say, is that Montana had no real value. Let's see, you understand that nukes have tremendous impact radius as for part of the game. It's why the nukes are impacting around Montana. The game hints that the events happen all over and over throughout the game. So unless the entire game is a drug trip, your logic makes no sense. Uh, there's, no, there's multiple nukes, not just one. So with that in mind, multiple nukes would eventually affect a very large radius in the U.S., including Montana. So regardless of your comment, your strategic placement, multiple nukes would lie waste to a very large portion of the U.S., was the action nuke would only affect about the size of New York City. The island in Montana is the top of the map next to the state of Washington, maybe Oregon. So unless Hope County is right next to Seattle, it wouldn't have hit it. And I only say New York City if the nuke was you know, to hit the center. And New York is a pretty small compared to Montana or even New York State. Yeah, because New York, the city of New York is at the very bottom of the state of New York. And the upper state, New York is actually quite nice. I've been there. Let's see. I understand that, but strategically, a uh, country would fire nukes in multiple different locations. I'm not saying the game uh, betrayal of nuke strike is realistic in any way. I'm saying that this is what happens. Yeah, it's what happens in the game. Whether you think it's an hallucination or not is entirely up to your opinion. But strategically, it wouldn't make no sense that all of a sudden, you know, an enemy country would, for some reason, bomb Montana instead of New York City or Los Angeles or any other major military base. But, you know, that's just my opinion about nukes and strategic bombing. See, John, the U.S. flag in Dutch's bunker has a significant change. In the beginning, when Dutch has the deputy tied up, the flag is normal, the United States flag. But uh, near the nuclear ending, the flag has a big cross, a beaten gate surrounded about it with normal stars, I swear. And I went back to li my live stream of episode seven, and you are correct. The flag did change for whatever rhyme or reason. I mean, did... Okay, did hypothetically, did Dutch just happen to have uh, stolen an Eden's Gate U.S. flag and he had it in the bunker with him as a souvenir? And, you know, Joseph finds it and just tears down the other U.S. flag and puts that one up? Or did Joseph have it in his back pocket? Like, where the hell did that uh, Eden's Gate uh, Stars and Stripes flag come from? That's another issue, right? <laughs> I don't know where it came from. I know it's symbolic, but still. CJ, I think we should uh, take it at face value, which is hard considering the gallons of bliss dropped at our feet. But of all the radio broadcasts, the talk of it being on the brink, I think the world of Far Cry nuclear war has happened. And for the most part, Seed was correct about the end times, though there's always a chance that it's localized and somehow uh, the pegs uh, got a hold of the nuclear firepower and the self-fulfilling prophecy. Either way, I'm a huge fan of uh, the setting, and I'm loving uh, the man versus wild survivalist style of this Far Cry. Yeah, and I absolutely love Far Cry 5 as well. I enjoyed playing it. I'm still playing it on the side as well. And then Local Warlord replies, uh, but think about uh, Eden's Gate had control of all radio stations, even the police helicopter at the beginning, plus uh, how the nukes uh, be prevented by uh, walking away, John. Yeah, exactly. So once again, we, we're back to debating these you know, different endings. Which one is the legit ending to go with? 
Inning two, leave John alone, walk away basically. They design that to let the players have, let their imaginations. The only used song when playing in the car doesn't confirm the protagonist will kill everyone. Maybe uh, he has conquered it, or maybe someone stopped him. It's good when you think positively. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you, you can think that way, Jet. Feel, that, feel free to think that way. It's your entire opinion to think about whether or not you know, Tony Soprano uh, was gunned down at the very ending of the uh, you know, series of Sopranos whenever they went black. Or maybe they were just enjoying a meal and, you know, they decided just to end the story there. You know, they end the meal and then they get in the car and they just drive off and they live happily ever after, you know, and they change their names. Yeah. The same thing you could say for uh, <laughs> that ending of Far Cry 5, right? That, you know, the only you comes in and, you know, he's like, he starts to go out of it and then maybe, maybe Hudson just slaps him in the face and she's like, snap out of it. And he's like, yes, ma'am. Or she says, yes, ma'am. I don't know. The rule could be a he or she. I'm not judging. <laughs> see, see, I'd like to point out that the only use not the affected, and not the it does not affect the protagonist, but also maybe the deputy Pratt. Yeah, it could also affect deputy Pratt because deputy Pratt was also conditioned by by Jacob. So there you go. And then Goblin says, "That's why I like to think about the imagination." It's like let's use our imagination. <laughs> but I mean, come on. Chances are that probably didn't end well if that's the actual ending. <laughs> See, Patrick, if the bombs were real, then how did the country get bombed instead of something like New York or something? Let's see, you're right. That's uh, why it has to be a hallucination. Plus, modern nuclear doctrine states that it is legal to waste not one but multiple warheads on an area with little military economic significance. So that would be fake. And once again, to make this point, it is a video game. And it, it did seem kind of ridiculous that, that three bombs would go off. All you really need to destroy Hope County, if it was Jacob, I mean Joseph behind it, would be one nuke, technically. And like three is overkill, in my opinion. Wolf, Bliss is a heck of a drug. <laughs> Rick James, bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's see, Mitchell, exactly. And your uh, and then your friends woke you up, and Joseph is sent to federal prison. That's that's the ending I would prefer to go with. But we're going to use our imagination, right? Let's see, Vermont. I like the nuclear ending uh, just for its epicness. Let's see, uh, Byron. Let's see, thank you. I keep trying to tell people that the ending was BS. It made no sense whatsoever, and it was infuriatingly stupid. I hope that they do something that fixes it in the future, because right now I'm simply playing these games for fun. And now for the story. If this is the type of crap I have to put up with, also it would make sense of being a bliss induced thing because uh, there's no way that you inhale all that and not feel it for a while. Yeah, exactly. And let's just say this. Maybe, just maybe, that that is the actual ending. Maybe that's the ending that developers wanted, the nuclear ending. Which means it wasn't a very good ending. Now, some people are going to like that ending, but it seems like the majority of the fans didn't. So, a lot of TV shows, a lot of movies, even if they're really good, have shitty endings. The same could be said for the most part regarding Far Cry 5, if we want to go that way. Let's see, Tubbs. Let's see, I believe that the nukes were an illusion. Yeah, just like everybody else. Yeah, this is going on for a while, isn't it, guys? I, once again, thank all of you that have taken the time to listen and read along. Let's see, it can be proved by the Bliss Flight. Yep, Bliss Flight. Okay, so let's let's just speed up a little bit. Thanks, Tubbs. So pretty much, you know, you know, Tubbs is in agreement with a lot of people regarding the bliss theory. So we got the bliss theory. We have the nuke theory, the nuclear war theory versus the bliss theory. That's where basically the two sides are. Okay, so let's move on to uh, Mario. Just beat the game with the nuclear ending, and holy hell! There's one thing I noticed in my game though. When you go back to this, yeah, yeah, you have the uh, the same screen. You start off at the ten at night, and it stays night. And I've been flying around the chopper for what should be several hours. Sun never rises. That is weird, Mario. I don't know why it's doing that. I mean, usually it looks like to me, like from what I've played, the hours I've put into like Far Cry 5, it feels like the daytime is intentionally longer than the nighttime in the game. So it could simply just be a fluke that's occurring. But yeah, you know, after you beat the game with the nuclear ending, you do appear back on that that tower before you decide which region to go into. So but that, 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 that is weird, though. But hopefully uh, you've reached uh, the dawn by now, Mario. <laughs> Steven, let's see. I think the nuclear ending is canon because the zombie DLC. The zombie DLC could possibly tie into that. Maybe, maybe not. I wouldn't bet the farm on it, though, but I guess we'll find out when it comes out. Let's see. Uh, Zerated. 
Let's see, remember the Valley of the Yetis. If there was a new, could this mean they could make a tiny story of the Valley of the Yetis? Uh, NCR defector, that's a great idea. Okay, well, see, it's allowing for multiple ideas to come up. Let's see, uh, let's see, Devian, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Let's see, it's confirmed that World War III happened in the end on why uh, Hope County in the beginning of the radio talks about the nuclear bombs being detonated in North Korea, thus proving God real. Joseph Wright, it also explains the reaping and everything being stored and seeing lots of beddings and accommodations in Harold's bunker. They knew God was uh, going to purge the earth again like he did with water, only this time using fire. Let's see, the bunkers would be the equivalent of Noah's Ark in the end. You, the resistance, every companion, and the villains attempting and failing to thwart God's plan. An interesting twist. We're the bad guys. Everyone resisting. The cougars, the resistance fighters, we are the evil ones. And uh, the, the cultists are the good guys <laughs> doing God's will. The main question I have uh, with this is how does it play with Assassin's Creed and Watch Dogs to them being in the same world? Are they in the same world? I didn't, I didn't think they were in the same world. Hmm. I did not know that. Interesting. William, let's see if uh, Far Cry Primal was a prequel to Far Cry 5. Just a random stupid thought. Well, technically, uh, just like uh, Sherwin just said. Yeah, I mean, uh, Far Cry Primal would be um, uh, a prequel to all the pr other Far Cry games. And um, he says that he messed up. He meant sequel. Uh, that's not correct because even though I never played Far Cry Primal... I did watch others let's play it and at the beginning of the game it goes backward it intentionally shows you the date going backwards it starts at present day what was it what 2016 when that game came out and then it goes all the way back to something something bc so right there that kind of debunks uh, the theory of far cry primal being a sequel to far cry 5 but far cry primal is technically the first uh far cry game if you want to go by it that way <laughs> in in the timeline all right so uh finally we got uh jojo Let's see, I highly doubt about this theory as confirmed by Ubisoft. There was a nuclear war, so I've confirmed uh, if this theory is true. I really do, but as we see in the nuclear ending, the Pratt Sheriff and Hudson both look dead. Oh, I, you had to bring that up about Hudson. <laughs> okay, I'll be okay. Just a video game character, right? I gotta get over it. Let's see, Mitchell, don't worry about it because after you beat the father and uh, hit continues at the credit of the townsfolk, thank you for getting rid of the father. If that doesn't prove the hallucination theory, I don't know what will. Let's see, uh, JoJo says he doesn't know. This is a different JoJo, or else a same account. He has two different accounts, and let's see. It cuts off Mitchell, so I'm sorry about this, Mitchell. I'll go ahead and read your uh, last part. Also, Nuclear Doctor now states that uh, it's illegal to waste warheads in the area of very little military or economic significance. So that supports my theory. Okay, so we finally reached it. The bottom of all the comments pro and against on all sides but i think that it's possible that the devs intended the nuclear ending to be the actual ending no hallucination no you know maybe it was the ending maybe it was all you know bliss hallucination but unfortunately they they leave the bliss in there from start to finish and everything the the protagonist goes through and all the times he or she was drugged by the bliss as well as the fact that you know the final battle with joseph seed does involve two big barrels of bliss, and it's a very strange, crazy battle. And you just don't snap out of a drug like that. So the after effects could have been that they were getting over it, but there was still some sort of power of suggestion from Joseph. And everything he was saying just happened to be you know, coinciding at the right time. The birds going by, the, the sirens going off, a.k.a. the trumpets, and then all of a sudden the nukes going off. This seems a little strange to me. But once again, it's interesting to discuss... And good or bad, it doesn't take away from the fact that Far Cry 5 was a very enjoyable experience. And hopefully, we will eventually get an answer one way or the other in maybe a Far Cry 6, a.k.a. Uh, Fallout 5. <laughs> maybe. But anyways, uh, if you have anything else to add regarding uh, this uh, discussion, regarding the ending theory... Whether or not you are part of the bliss theory or part of the nuclear war, where you think that may have been the legit ending. And that, like I'm saying, perhaps that is the legit ending. Doesn't mean it's a good ending, but it could be the actual ending. Feel free. Leave your thoughts, views, and opinions below in the comments section. <laughs>